Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be more about Team Money Collections. I've got a number of stories about Team Money Collections and some are more amusing than others. So I've got a, a few that I'll tell you about today and one of them happened to a good friend of mine who has been come to Thailand for many many years and he likes to have a bit of a joke with the with the police every time they get stopped in Pattaya. My friend's been coming to Thailand for 20 odd years so he knows all about the scams and how they make the money one way and another. So when he comes to Patty, he always brings his international driver's license in case he gets stopped by the police for driving around on his motorbike and he always does get stopped by the police driving his motorbike. Anyway, on this particular day he thought he'd have a bit of fun with the policeman. He has his helmet, he hasn't been drinking and driving, he has his license. It's a rented motorbike so it's taxed and insured. And yeah, sure enough, the police pull him over and they ask him for his license. And he's just thinks, I'll have a bit of fun with the policeman here. So he's searching around his pockets as if he's looking for his license. And the policeman pulls out his little white notepad to think, oh, I'm going to give you a fine here. And just as he pulls his notepad out, he produces his license. And the policeman looks, looks at his international driver's license, then looks again. He said, okay tax insurance lift the seat up from the motorbike and there's the tax and there's the insurance so my friend richard thinks ah oh, i've got away with this now brilliant puts the seat down and the policeman has a walk around the bike and he says your foot pegs are down you got no passenger and your foot pegs are down 200 back fine so in his frustration about thinking he's got away with it with the policeman yet again he's going to pay 200 baht fine for having his foot pegs down apparently it's a rule that if you're driving around on a motorbike and you don't have a rear seat passenger you're supposed to put the foot pegs up so my friend sort of smirks at the policeman thing yeah okay you got me 200 baht and in disgust as he was getting his wallet out of his pocket he has a little cigarette and he just throws it on the on the ground and the policeman tells him to pick his cigarette up as he picks his cigarette up he said 200 baht fine for litter so the policeman found, found him all together 400 baht 200 baht for throwing his cigarette butt onto the floor and 200 baht for having his foot pegs down whilst driving around and no passenger so <laughs> yet another lesson yet another lesson learned by my friend but he took it in good faith he knew every now and then he's going to pay a little bit of fine that's just the way he is he has a bit of a laugh and a joke with the policeman also there's nothing in seriousness but he pays 400 baht fine so that's the first one now now the second one i'm going to talk about it happened to me um and i was coming back from my road trip to phuket driving up towards bangkok and i have to go onto the toll roads so i drive through a toll booth now there was six toll booths in a row two of them were the m pass so obviously i haven't got the m pass card so i can't go on them so that left me four toll booths and the the toll booth that was the furthest away from me i was safe to cross the four lanes of traffic to get into that toll booth so i could get through the toll booths a bit quicker as i pulled up to the toll booth i seen this policeman look and then look again like a double lock and he, and then i thought he's going to pull me over he's going to pull me over and sure enough he waved me over so i paid my fee drive through the gate and he waved again and I thought oh he's waved me on I thought he doesn't want to pull me over so I drove off without stopping about a mile or so down the, the motorway policeman behind us on his motorbike police lights on directs me to pull over towards the the side of the carriageway and I thought oh here we go nowhere near the cameras now of the toll booths and he asks me why I drove off, I didn't stop. And I explained, and I had a witness in the car with me at the same time as well. Um, we both said, we thought you waved us on to go. And he said, no, no, he said, I waved you on to stop. Okay, I said, why, why you stopped me? And he said, where you come from? Uh, I told him I come from Phuket. And then he got his white pad out, so I thought, oh, here we go. He's gonna be a fine now. So on the back of the pad he started doing this drawing of of the six toll booths and the four lanes and he did this sketch and this drawing to say that i'd crossed the four lanes and he said 
dangerous manoeuvre, dangerous manoeuvre, 5,000 baht fine. I said, you've got to be joking. 5,000. And I said to him, I had to drive across the four carriageways or the four lanes to get into this toll booth as I couldn't go in the, no, dangerous driving, dangerous driving, 5,000 baht fine. I said, no, give me the ticket. I'll take it to the police station. He said, no, you pay now, you pay now. I said, I haven't got 5,000. How much you have? How much you have, he said. I said, I've got 1,800 baht in my wallet. He said, let me see, let me see. So I opened my wallet up, showed him I had 1,800 baht, and he put his hand in, in my wallet, took the 1,800 baht, scribbled the piece of paper, ripped it up, and then he said, you go, you go. So 1,800 baht. Did I argue over it? No, I didn't, because at the end of the day, he's a policeman, a CCTV camera to show that he was actually waving me to pull over and I drove off. I can't argue with that because he'll just turn around and say, he tried to pull me over or I just drove off. So 1,800 baht fine I had to pay. Um, again, that just went straight in his pocket, I believe. And that's the only big fine I've had here living in Thailand for almost 10 years now. So if you equal it out over the years, it's not a lot of money and I got caught and I should have had my friend videoing him so for evidence because it was obvious that he was after his team money and because there was no cameras available he could do and say whatever he wanted to do. He started off at 5,000 and we got it for 1,800 and I dare say I could have got it down to 1,000 baht but that's that sometimes pricey pay for driving around in Thailand. And some of the other team money collections, I've heard of other people. In fact, I've heard it of numerous people when they're on the toll roads and they go on the fast, fast lane on the right hand side to overtake everything. And then next thing a police car will pull them over and tell them that they stayed in the fast lane for too long and they, they, they were hogging the fast lane. And that's a two, a 300 baht fine for doing that. So I've never experienced that myself. But I've had two or three people that I've talked to and they've experienced it. Two or three hundred baht fine every time they hog the fast lane on the motorway. So that's just another money making scam from the police to say that you're in the fast lane for too long. But again, that ha that's never happened to me and I've never seen it happen. But I've heard plenty of people go on about it. And the other one, money making, team money making scheme. So we bought a, a brand new car and with a brand new car, we rented the red plate that you can have on the car and this is on the car whilst the registration is in process and it's generally done within the three months. So we drank Nissan up a couple of times about why we still haven't got our new number plate as it approached the three months and they were still saying it's still getting processed, still getting processed. So oh, we thought no more about it and we were coming home from a friend's house in Satahip and there was a roadblock well I knew for a fact I was tax tested insured and brand new car so I had nothing to worry about I had my license so again the policeman stopped looked at my license looked at me and then asked my wife for the insurance for the car and the paperwork for the car and he went through it with a fine tooth comb and he said 500 baht fine and my wife was asking the reason as to why and it's because our number plate registration we were allowed to have it for three months and then after three months it's illegal and apparently after three months you can get fined for having the red plate on your car because you're supposed to have had the new number plate attached to your car within three months we were two weeks over the three months so, so we argued the fact that it wasn't our fault that the process took so long no no excuses he said there you go there's the fine so he gave us the details where we had to pay it we had to pay it at the local bank or we had to pay it at the local police station we elected to pay it at the local bank and the guy at the bank said oh you're the third person today to come in with one of these fines so he said they must be clamping down on red plates this year so that was another 500 baht we complained to nissan they just shrugged their shoulders and said, well, it's one of them things, it took longer than normal, sorry, but we're not gonna give you your 500 baht back, it's one of them things. So, another money-making scheme from the team money generation pot. 
So that was just a few more money making schemes for collection of the tea money. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments down below. So from Les, still living the dream in Thailand. Until the next video, bye for now.